What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and virtual reality is seeming like it's going to be the future. Now obviously your boy wasn't a believer and I'm going to tell you that for a fact. If you look at any of my old videos before this year started, I thought VR was going to be a bust. It was a fad like motion control, some fucking connect bullshit like obvious honest honest i'm telling you straight up i did not think it would be real and then i tried the oculus out myself and it gave me one of the biggest directions that i've ever experienced in my entire 25 years of living on this planet holy crap now obviously the vr market there's a lot of concerns here in regards to how much it's going to be for the average consumer like you and me is it going to suck our goddamn wallet to dry is it going is it going to potentially damage our brains depending on you know what kind of technology it is in the future there's so many concerns with this whole thing but i gotta be honest with you dude sometimes Sometimes we just need to let go of these things and try it out for ourselves. The technology is amazing and it makes for a crazy immersive experience. I got this shit right here, man. I'm not just saying it out of the, out of the you know, out of the fucking shit out of my mouth. I'm, I'm, I got a fucking Oculus right here. Um, shit is crazy, man. So, yeah, just with that in mind, um, I do know what the Oculus is all about and it's definitely not all just hype. I mean, a lot of it is hype, I'll be honest with you, but there is definitely some amazing gaming at the core of that thing. And as time goes on, it'll only be utilized further and further. And we have some utilization of it today. And more importantly, we have it in a very affordable price range. Now, I'm not getting paid for this. It seems like as you become a bigger YouTuber, everyone starts to think that you're getting paid for something when you talk about it. I don't know what it is, man. There's so many things that change from when I used to have like 10,000 subscribers. Now I have 200,000. It's like I got to give disclaimers for so much bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, being a, being a semi-large YouTuber, YouTuber is not all it's cracked up to be. You have to do so much bullshit to be able to appease to the people, and if you don't, then they rip your dick off about it because you got all these subs, which means you gotta be having all this money, which means you gotta be getting paid off by companies, which means all this other bullshit. Man, relax, it's just a fucking channel that does videos for fun, nigga. God damn, I'll tell you if I get paid for something and talk about it, but I won't do anything like that ever because that's some manipulative, destructive uh, bullshit. It takes advantage of the people and it doesn't really give them the truth. So, whatever. Anyways, we have to talk about this. I thought this was interesting and I wanted to showcase this for you guys because I'm so hyped for VR. And this is a way that you can access it easily with the phone that you got in your motherfucking pocket. Let's take a look at exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm referencing this. Now, Gear VR. I don't know what the fuck this is. I have not read this article. Of course, you know the standards of this channel. We're going to be reading through this bitch together. So, you and me, sit the fuck down, grab some popcorn, let's read this thing. So, Gear VR ships to the masses this November for $99, and it showcases phones. Some of you dudes may have seen this shit yourself, whereas you put your phone inside of the VR device and you're able to use virtual reality, you're able to see porn right there in front of you, engage in it. And, you know, that, that that's definitely a big plus when it comes to VR and the reasons to use it. Porn is amazing on that. <laughs> Anyways, so... Let's read through this. Samsung and Oculus have announced that mobile VR will be available to the public this fall. The first widely distributed Gear VR headset will land before Black Friday this November. The head-mounted display will be compatible with all of Samsung's 2015 flagship smartphones, the Note 5, 6 Plus Edge, oh my, whatever, all their fucking phones, all their names, phones, whatever. Pricing has been confirmed at $99, and the unit has a redesigned feel that's 20%, 22% lighter. The touchpad also has been redesigned for ease of use. Now, this looks interesting to me, and like I said, I'm excited about this because I tried VR out myself, and it's amazing. And even though $99 is $100, that is somewhat expensive. That's money you could be potentially putting to a console or getting your hands on a gaming handheld, something of that nature. It's a lot of money to ask for, for something like VR, which you could potentially never use again after your first day of trying it out, which is why I wish there were more places for people to go and try it out. I think like if they made it like available at Best Buy or something, where you can just go there and literally put the headset on and see exactly what VR is all about, then it would be great. But $99 is still a lot better than $199 or $299, which is a price point that a lot of people have been speculating about with VR in the past. And I feel like this is a place where people can spend money on it in somewhat of a safe way and if it's not that good i mean maybe they can just return it to the store but i don't think that's going to be the case man i feel like when people get their hands on this stuff it's going to be amazing now one experience that i had with phone vr is with my one plus one it's somewhat of an older phone and i was thinking to myself this phone's probably not going to be able to handle vr too much now one plus the company one plus they actually had a presentation that was done entirely on virtual reality and i was actually watching that on my one plus one the phone and it shocked me 
how goddamn accurate the VR was on that thing. Now, I didn't have a headset or anything like that. I was just using my phone, basically just watching the VR that presentation on my phone. But the presentation looked incredible because I could literally move the phone around and it did snappy, snappy, kept up with it. And the OnePlus is a, you know, it's an older model phone than all these new things right here. And it still kept up with it really well, which made me feel like the reality, the virtual reality headset or, you know, just the VR in general for the phones these days isn't that consuming when it comes to resources of your phone. You might just be able to do this with a phone that's, you know, two or three years older. Now, obviously, there's probably going to be more other VR headsets for phones besides, you know, the Samsung one. Um, Sully Pones, an amazing person that he is, he bought me um, a Galaxy Note 5 after I fucked up my OnePlus. I had no other way to get a phone. And he, out of the kindness of his fucking heart, he bought me a phone. And, you know, Sully, thank you so much for that, man. This, fucking Christ. But, um, you know, if you don't have a phone that's like a, considered a Samsung flagship or something super fancy like that, maybe there's headsets out there that could work for your phone as well too. But I really want to encourage you guys, don't just write VR off as some kind of a trend that's going to go out of fashion in a few years or something like that. Like I'm, I'm being so real with you. The technology has come to a point where you can be engaged and have fun and not have to experience too much eye strain. I know some people will, but I feel like this is not a fad. And this is somebody who plays the 3DS for Smash Brothers and other games like that on a regular basis. And I, even though I do enjoy the 3D on the new 3DS a lot more than the older model, I feel as if in terms of um, usability with the 3D on the Oculus Rift and the 3D on this, Oh man, there's no comparison. The Oculus, there's no strain basically for me, and it's way more engaging, way more fun. Not a fucking fab as a 3D on the 3DS was, and I'm telling you this from the bottom of my black balls. When do I usually co-sign something this hard? I never do. When is the last time you remember me co-signing something to this degree and trying to explain it to you guys to this degree? You're going to have to take me on this one. You're going to have to trust me. Most of you wouldn't trust me in the first place, but um, when this thing does release, I'll be buying one for myself. And even though that's the thing, you know, I can do a review on this headset myself, you know, without anyone paying me, by the way, I can do a review on it, but people will still doubt it because how do you do a review on a virtual reality headset? It's something whereas the technology would require you to have it yourself in order to be able to truly experience what it's about. I can't just talk about it and expect you all to be like, oh, well, virtual reality looks pretty damn cool. Let me try it out. All you're going to see with me reviewing it is some black dumbass with a high top and a fucking goggles just looking around like, whoa, whoa, whoa look at the porn. Like, I mean, to be honest with you, me doing a review on this probably wouldn't change your mind at all, but, um, potentially try to get your hands on some VR in the future. Maybe go to an event or maybe try to try out something that your friend has. Trust me, it'll be worth your time. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.